so uh, today we discuss point groups space groups and types of lattice lattices uh, which is the next part of our class uh, our syllabus <clears throat> so in this class we will discuss point groups space groups and two types of lattices spatially two dimensional lattices and three dimensional lattices so uh, before going to two dimensional and three dimensional lattices we should be uh, familiar or we should know we must know what are point groups and space groups uh, it is because the dehydration or uh, the dehydration of crystals into different or uh, uh, dehydration of lattices into different types uh, that is totally done on the basis of which point groups and space groups they possess now what are point groups and space groups uh, we have already studied symmetry operations and we know that there are four basic symmetry operations and those are translation rotation reflection and inversion out of these four operations rotation reflection and inversion these are jointly known as point operations and these point operations are important because combination suitable combination of these point operations combination of these point symmetry operations gives symmetry around a point in a lattice in other words the group of point operations rotation reflection and inversion jointly determine collectively determine the symmetry of a space around a point in a lattice and therefore these are called as point operations now these point operations collectively known as point groups if they determine symmetry of a point if they comprise an element that determines symmetry of a point around a point in a lattice now for example let us look at the two dimensional lattice that is in the form of notched wheel as shown in this figure towards right hand of the screen uh, you will find that it has a symmetry it has a symmetry denoted by point group 2 mm so here out of this 2 mm 2 is here denoted by a circle that means an axis passing through this lattice point perpendicular to screen okay that will have a two fold rotation so it has a rotation symmetry two fold rotation symmetry so it, so it is represented by letter 2 now what is m the first m is the plane that passes through the notches okay center of the notches that is a vertical plane that divides it into two two uh, images which are mirror two halls which are mirror images of each other so first reflection symmetry and another is exactly perpendicular to this so this is along this so it has 2 mm as the point group we know that in this way the combination of rotation and reflection gives rise to 10 different point groups in a two dimensional uh, lattices and that is 1 1 m 2 2 mm 3 3 m 4 4 mm 6 and 6 mm so these are all three all 10 point groups possible in 2d space okay now what about the situation in three dimensional space in three dimensional space we will find that along with these two point operations uh, that is rotation and reflection in two dimensional we have a third operation that is inversion and situation will be a little bit complicated more complicated and in that case we have more uh, point groups so in three dimensional space we have 32 point groups while in case of two dimensional we have 10 point groups okay now let us move to uh, symmetry or uh, point uh, 
symmetry in a crystal. So as you can see here, the symmetry of a crystal as a whole is determined by symmetry of lattice and symmetry of base because we know that lattice plus base uh, that uh, completely gives you the crystal. So uh, the symmetry of crystal is determined jointly by symmetry of lattice and symmetry of base. We know that lattice is consist lattice lattices uh, in two dimensional have 10 point groups and in three dimensional have 32 point groups and those lattices in two dimensional and three dimensional which are consistent with these point groups are only what you say permitted lattices and are called as various lattices well known by the name of the scientist physicist who invented them these various lattices are further divided into different crystal systems these crystal systems and various lattices we will see in the next coming article now what is a symmetry about a point in a crystal to determine symmetry at a point in a crystal we must know two different points that unit cell unit cell might show point symmetry more than one location inside it and another is combination of point and translation operation may exist at this point so that means translation operation also exists in the what to say symmetry of the crystal now group of symmetry elements in a crystal structure group of symmetry elements uh, in a crystal structure that de determines the uh, symmetry around the space in in the crystal structure that is called as a space group okay so what is what is space group? It is a group of symmetry elements that determines symmetry around a space, around a point uh, in a space, in a crystal, and that is called as space group. So in, in two dimensional or in lattices, it is point group. In crystals, it is space group. In two dimensional, we have 17 space groups, while in case of three dimension, we have 230 space groups in all. Now let us move to the next slide and that is the important one that is about types of lattices. Okay, we know that there are 10 point groups in two dimensional and 32 point groups in three dimensionals. Okay, and it is the point group is a complete foundation for construction of different lattices because we know that the lattices which are consistent with point groups that is 10 point groups in two dimensional and 32 point groups in three dimensional are only the permissible lattices and these are recognized as or known as various lattices in two dimensional we have 10 point groups so there are five previous lattices and four crystal systems and in three dimensional we know that there are 32 point groups. These 32 point groups gives rise to 40 Bravius lattices and these 40 Bravius lattices are conveniently divided into seven crystal system. So in all, in two dimensional lattices, we have 10 point groups, five Bravius lattices, four crystal systems. While in case of 3D lattices, we have 32 point groups, 14 Bravius lattices and in all seven crystal systems. Now let us look at the two dimensional uh, lattices. Uh, there are four types of crystal systems in, in uh, two dimensional lattices and that is oblique, rectangular, square and hexagonal. So let us see one by one. The very first one is oblique and the oblique crystal or sorry oblique uh, two dimensional lattice is shown in this figure. Okay. Uh, as a figure A and you will find that uh, the oblique uh, lattice consisting of two axes A and B these are called as lattice parameters A and B and these two lattice parameters are not equal so A is not equal to B and angle between these lattice parameters is other than 90 degrees so A equal to B and gamma equal to not 90 degree so these are the lattice parameters of uh, oblique lattice. This oblique lattice obeys two point groups that is 
one and two. So one fold rotation and two fold rotations are possible. Okay, and the conventional unit cell, as you can see, it is a in the shape of a parallelogram. Okay, and we are possessing two point loops. And unit cell parameters are a not equal to b and gamma is not equal to 90 degree. Now another type is rectangular, and in rectangular uh, lattice system, we have two different types of various lattices possible. One is primitive, and another one is rectangular centered. Rectangular primitive, rectangular centered. And in both cases, a is equal to b and gamma is equal to 90 degree. So a is not equal to b and gamma is gamma must be equal to 90 degree. So in case of rectangular lattice, the angle is 90 degree. Okay. Now uh, the there are two types of lattices: rectangular primitive and rectangular centered, as shown in here. And conventional unit cell is a rectangle. So this is the shape of rectangle, and it is a unit cell. Okay. And uh, uh, unit cell parameters are like this: a is not equal to b, and gamma is not equal to uh, sorry, gamma is equal to 90 degree. And the next one is uh, square lattice. And in this square lattice, we will find that A is equal to B. Both sides are equal and angle between the sides is equal to 90 degree. Lattice parameters are equal and angle between the lattice parameters is equal to 90 degree. So this is the characteristics of a square lattice. And of course, the conventional unit cell will be a square. And the next one is hexagonal. Hexagonal is characterized by its angle, and the angle is always angle gamma is always equal to 120 degree, 120 degree, where sides are also equal. So A equal to B, gamma equal to 120 degree, where the lattice is hexagonal with point groups 3, 3m, 6, 6mm. So four point groups are possible in case of hexagonal cell. So in this way, uh, there are four different crystal systems, uh, that is uh, oblique, the rectangular, square, and hexagonal. And there are six uh, previous lattices in two dimension, okay? That is oblique lattice, rectangular primitive lattice, rectangular central lattice, square lattice, and hexagonal lattice. Now, what about three dimensional lattice? Let us look at the three dimensional lattice. The three dimensional lattice, uh, these are totally divided, as I have told to you, these are divided into seven crystal systems. These are in all 14 lattices, and these are divided into seven crystal systems in a 3D space. And if we are uh, point out or we are writing this in the reducing or decreasing or approximately, they can be written like this C, T, or H, M, T. C, T, or HMT. You remember the new type of alphabet here, CT or HMT. CT or HMT. Now, what is first C? C is C stands for a cubic. The first crystal system is cubic, in which there are three types of lattices, P, I, and F. What is this P, I, and F? So that is explained in this here. That P stands for simple crystal system. I stands for body-centered crystal system, F stands for face-centered crystal system, and C stands for end-centered crystal system. Okay, and there are three types of axes, that is axis A, B, and C. The angle between axis B and C, that is denoted by alpha. The angle between axis A and C, that is denoted by beta and angle between axis A and B that is denoted by gamma. Okay, so CT or HMT. So C stands for cubic. In all, there are three Bravis lattices. Those are simple, body-centered, and face-centered. The first T after C stands for tetragonal. There are two types of lattices, and they will be simple and body-centered. O stands for orthorhombic. And there are four types of lattices that is simple orthorhombic, body centered orthorhombic, face centered orthorhombic, and end centered orthorhombic. Next one is R, that is rhombohedral. So only one lattice is possible, Bryce lattice is possible, that is simple rhombohedral. Next one is hexagonal. 
Again, one lattice is possible, and that is simple hexagonal. Next one is monoclinic. There are two types of lattices possible. That is primitive, simple monoclinic, and, and next one is end-centered monoclinic. And in the last one, that is triclinic, only one lattice is possible. That is primitive. With this axis system and corresponding angles, we will have the next slide that explains the very first one, that is cubic lattice. So as you can see here, there are three types of cubic lattice. The lattice points are shown by the, what do you say, the points, uh, the, what is the solid spheres. And as you can see, uh, there are three types of cubic lattices. Okay, uh, everywhere one thing is uh, lattice, uh, the, the lattice, uh, lattice parameters obey one thing that A equal to B equal to C, all sides, all lattice parameters representing the sides are equal and all angles are equal, that is alpha equal to beta equal to gamma and those are equal to 90 degree. So A equal to B equal to C and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degrees. So this is characteristics of the cubic crystal system. This cubic crystal system has three different types of previous lattices. That is simple cubic, body centered cubic and face centered cubic. The simple cubic denoted by P and it has example copper, silver and iron. All these are metals. Okay. Body centered cubic is example of common salt and sodium that is Na and NaCl and the face centered cubic where the lattice points are at the corners of the unit cell as well as at the center of the each face okay and that is example is cesium chloride okay so these are three types of cubic uh, lattices that is simple cubic body centered cubic and face centered SC, VCC and FCC. So next time is tetragonal and in tetragonal the condition is that A is equal to B but not equal to C. So third side is, so we have little bit less symmetry here because third side is not equal to B. And angles are equal and equal to 90 degree. Now this is simple tetragonal as you can see A, uh, so here B and C are equal and that is A and B are equal and C is different and alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. So all lattice points are at the corner. So this is a simple tetragonal. It is denoted by P and example is beta tin. The SN stands for tin. So tin is example. And here it is a body center tetragonal where the lattice points are at the corners and also at the center of the body. And the example is titanium dioxide. Okay. And it is denoted by letter I, body center. It is denoted by letter I. And the next one is orthorhombic, and the symmetry is like this. Uh, it is explained by A not equal to B not equal to C. C. Again, still less symmetry, and where angles are equal, and that is equal to 90 degree. So here, four types of possibles are four types of, uh, of possible lattices are shown in this slide. That is simple orthorhombic, where the lattice points are at the corners only, and example is gallium gallium and uh, body centered orthorhombic where the lattice points are at the corners and at the center of the body also so it is uh, fe3c end centered where the lattice points are at the two bases also uh, other than the corners so cementite is example and here we, will, we don't have example of f that is face centered orthorhombic and uh, that is where the lattice points are at the corners and at the centers of each face also. So there are four types in orthorhombic. The next one is uh, rhombohedral. And in rhombohedral, the symmetry is like this. All sides are equal. But important one is alpha is equal to beta, and which is equal to gamma. But these angles are not 90 degrees. So this is the shape of the cell, which is simple rhombohedral because lattice points are at the corners only. So we will have three types arsenic, antimony, and bismuth. The next one is hexagonal. So, as you can see, this is the shape of the hexagonal. So, this is a hexagonal unit cell, okay, out of which the primitive unit cell is shown here, okay. So, this is a primitive unit cell shown by the 
what you say bold lines and which has uh, the lattice points at the corners only and uh, and the hexagonal shaped conventional unit cell is also shown so only simple primitive unit cell is possible and example is nias and uh, the geometry is like this that a is equal to b not equal to c but alpha equal to beta equal to 90 degree and gamma is equal to 120 degrees so this is the example at itself the next one is monoclinic in monoclinic we have all sides are different so a is not equal to b not equal to c uh, two angles that is alpha and gamma are 90 degree and beta is other than 90 degree and two types are possible that is simple and simple and what do you say uh, end center simple and end center and so here it's pretty so examples are CaSO4 to calcium sulfate and and end center it is gypsum so here it should be E so triclinic in triclinic we have all sides are different and all angles are different and other than 90 degrees so very less symmetry single type is possible and that is K2 Cr2 O7 so here we end and here the topic is open for discussion. So do we have any questions then?